Now, wedding days are supposed to be filled with love and happiness, uh, but photographers are complaining that some angry vicars are making it impossible for them to do their job. They say they have encountered rude, humiliating, aggressive and even abusive behaviour and have signed a petition asking for better working conditions. We spoke to Sophie and John, who told us how the vicar dealt with their photographer on their wedding day. So we got married in April 2022. And then we were told on the day that the photographer would have to stay either at the front or the back. Um, she wasn't allowed to be kind of moving around throughout the ceremony. Devastated, to be honest. I think because of obviously having to postpone, I think even more upset than probably I would have been normally because we wanted those shots, you know, of me coming into church and seeing John's face when I walked down the aisle and then for her to then get the shot, obviously, when, you know, we have our first kiss as sort of, you know, husband and wife. And then that wasn't obviously possible to get everything. She, you know, was, was stuck at the front, so was only, was limited to what she could get. It's the way the vicar sort of handled it is probably the best way to describe it. I, it was almost like it was his show and sort of it was his way or no way. So many of you got in touch about this this morning. Uh, so let's talk some more with us. Rachel Roberts, who started the petition, and Reverend Anna Alice, who is a vicar for six parishes in Nottinghamshire. Good morning Good to morning. you both. Good morning. Um, it's so interesting, isn't it? Anna, <laughs> let's start with you because first and foremost, if you're getting married in a church, it is a ceremony, isn't it? It's a spiritual ceremony. It's not an opportunity for photos, is it? Oh, I'm not sure. Why would you not want to capture the day? It's really special. It's a really important day. Hopefully you're only going to do it once. Of course you want photographs to capture those memories, don't you? It is a ceremony. It is in church. But um, no, I think we should be able to take photographs. But what's the limit? How the far limit? should those photographers be involved? Um, so uh, I think communicating with the vicar about what's appropriate is probably OK. Uh, not being in the vicar's face and distracting them, because what we're hoping for at the end of the day is that the couple are married legally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the goal. Yeah, yes. <laughs> it would be a shame if the vicar was distracted and that didn't happen. <laughs> uh, and we don't want our ancient buildings um, bashed about or uh, sometimes churches can be a bit dangerous as well. So we don't want to, we don't want to catch in our peripheral, peripheral vision. Uh, the photographer's assistant kind of winching themselves up on some medieval <laughs> pulpit or something. That would be a shame. So um, I just think communicating with the vicar about what's appropriate, what's safe, uh, where the best place is to stand in the church and capture all the action, that kind of thing. Rachel, you must have heard and seen some real horror stories in your time. What sort of experiences can you tell us about? <laughs> Yeah, so personally, um, from my perspective, the kind of things that I've experienced quite a lot of the time are things like um, being asked by clergy members to stand and be hidden behind pillars, very much like out of sight, out of mind, things like that, um, or to be sat at the back. Um, but by starting this petition, I've had obviously hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of stories from wedding photographers and videographers who... Um, just want to be respectful, I will say, first of all, that this petition isn't about vicar bashing and church bashing. We want to ask members of the clergy, how can we pull together to work forward? Like, let's, let's try and encourage more church weddings because church weddings now only account for a quarter of weddings in the UK and that number's dropping. So we're saying, let's work together. Um, but some of the stories that have come out are quite shocking. A lot of um, photographers and videographers say that they now flatly refuse to go anywhere near church weddings. They're just like, I don't want to, I just don't want to take them on. And that is such a shame because church weddings, well, we've been chatting this morning yeah. and you sound like the most amazing, engaging <laughs> yes. vicar. Yes. I'm, I'm going to see you on Sunday. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> because it's all about bringing people together. It's about, um, you know, you've got people there as a captive audience. And I'm guessing you were saying earlier, you use that as an opportunity to try and bring them back. Yes. Yeah, so I think the welcome is really important. Uh, I am going to put quite a lot of effort into planning a wedding. There's a lot going off. It's really stressful. Um, and you've got to be on top of everything. So I can understand why clergy are precious about that. We don't want to be distracted. Um, but it doesn't matter how well prepared my sermon is, how witty 
uh, and uh, biblically sound it is. In 10 years' time, the couple are not going to remember it, but they will have a wedding album or a video that they can put on, yeah. uh, and they're going to remember that they were that they felt included and welcomed and part of the wider community of the church. So I think we should do everything we can to make sure that, that photos are captured respectfully and appropriately. And Rachel, is this about the expectation that the couple may have about what those pictures can or should be? Because there's one thing, you know, the room, the event, but actually increasingly, and I'll blame Instagram here, we, <laughs> you know, we want the close-ups in the emotions and the flower girls and the clothes yeah. and all that. So it's not mm. a photo shoot. It should be a memory yeah. of the day. Yeah, so you've, I think you've um, touched on, I think, the notion that a lot of clergy members like, often say to us is this is not Hollywood, it's not a photo shoot. And the thing is, is that people can be quite dismissive of photographers for wanting, like, the shallow part of the day and things like that. I got married very recently and I've watched my wedding film back two or three times because hearing the vicar saying those words and hearing what the words were about and the, the unbroken circle of the wedding ring and the symbolism and it's those that coverage of a wedding day, you know, seven years down the line of a couple of running into struggles, looking back at their photos and their film, that is what's going to remind them what it was all about. Mm -hmm. So actually, it's not about getting a great photo for their social media updates. It's about reminding them of the actual most important part of the day. And when I'm photographing weddings and, a, a, you know, a vicar or priest says to me, you're allowed one photo and then you're not allowed any more or I'll send you out. And I've been told that a few times. One photo. One photo. And if I take any in the ceremony, I'll be sent out mid-ceremony. So they're stopping the ceremony to say oh. leave. Oh. But the thing is, I'm then <laughs> delivering a collection to a couple where I'm like, you've got a thousand images, absolutely amazing, and one photo of you actually yeah. getting married, which is what the day's right. about. So it's about trying to create coverage of the words that are being said mm -hmm. and the meaning behind their wedding and why they came together and everyone there but we can do that really respectfully from the kind of from the wings we can work alongside priests and vicars and that's what i want to try and create is that relationship and do you think that some people do get a little bit too lost in what it's going to look like oh yeah and yeah instagram social media does have something yeah, the confetti shot is the big one for me. Oh, my goodness me, the hours I spend on the confetti shot. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, the, um, but that's OK, it's outside, right? It's outside, that's yeah, fine. it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. But I, also, I want to be involved with that. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's your moment it's as well. It's my moment. <laughs> Whose wedding is this? <laughs> well, you were saying something this morning, though, that Anna's, like, Anna's on social media, she takes selfies with her couples. All the vicars and priests that I work with that are like that all have queues out the door to get married yeah. at their churches. Right. We do do We love a wedding selfie. OK. okay That's yeah. good tonight. You don't, oh, then you don't need the photographer at all. No, no, no. I can do all sorts on my iPhone. I am really cheap. <laughs> Whole new line of business. <laughs> so nice to see you both. Thanks thank so you, much. Rachel and Reverend Anna. Uh, thank you for being with us this morning.